Hello there, welcome to our tutorial on reference values in F sharp. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, values which are of reference type. Now, reference values are very, very similar to uh, values which are mutable. Uh, the only difference between reference values and uh, mutable values or values which are mutable um, is that reference values are quite useful uh, when passing values around functions uh, we will have a look at this a little bit later and also in cases such as inner lambdas which we will we'll, uh, also look at is that uh, standard mutable values will simply not work and reference values are required so it is quite nice to get uh, used to reference values and apply them where necessary and F sharp is quite good at letting you know that um, a reference value is required where it's uh, not expecting a mutable value for example so when this happens you will know what a reference value is and be able to apply it in the uh, current context so Let's define a simple value here. We'll call it test value again. We'll give it the value 8. And we'll uh, write it to the console. Uh, test value. And this is similar to our value tutorial in that we've set a value and we're outputting its context. Now reference values uh, values uh, have a keyword ref here before the 8. If we execute the program now we're getting an error which is Microsoft F sharp core ref system in 32 and it's confused at how to access uh, the value stored within test value well, reference values um, are kind of contained within this object ref. Uh, ref comes from <coughs> the library Microsoft F sharp core dot ref, and that's defined by this icon here. And it really tells you all about refs and how to use them. And you can see the full name of it is Microsoft dot f sharp dot core dot ref one which is very similar to our error message this is because we're outputting the full name of the ref type which is what we don't really want to we want to output the value within this reference type so if we take our test value we've just defined here and have a look what uh, it is at our disposal we have various methods, a con uh, contents variable here, and also a value. Now, these two are pretty much the same. Value just gives us what is in the content, so we'll use value. And the current it provides us the current value of the reference cell. So if we uh, tell it, uh, tell the compiler we want the value with inside test value. Execute the program again we'll get the uh, value here. If you've used C-sharp, vb.net, they're exactly the same as nullable types as well, in which you have to use the value explicitly to take out the uh, value within the uh, referenced uh, value here. So that is how to use, well, declare and use um, a reference value. So now uh, we've declared it here, we need to look how to uh, assign another value to this uh, test value. You may think that uh, we can simply do it like so. But if we uh, hover over it saying, well, the value is not mutable, that's because uh, this operator here um, is used with values of type int, not of int ref. Uh, in order to sign a new value uh, where reference values are concerned we need to use this operator here 
this is a, a colon equals operator and this uh, only works in this instance with reference values so once we've defined it as 8 we want to redefine it as 6 and output the value so we should be outputting 6 as you can see here so they are very similar as you can see in the example to mutable values it's just the syntax is slightly different where we have mutable here we have ref here and instead of uh, this operator we're actually using the uh, colon equals operator here so they are very similar in how they work, how they're defined the syntax is slightly different but there are some cases in which reference values are required where mutable values cannot be used so uh, thank you for listening to the tutorial on reference values uh, I'm Sean Greasley